got Dr. Oliver to come here, you know. I lied. I mean, I, I blackmailed him. And I don't even have anything to blackmail him with. All right, let me ask you a question. Would you rather not have this doctor come here to speak? To see if he can operate or not? No, no, I know. I know, but I just... I just feel weird. Look, your mother thought I could help you find another doctor. You tell me that only this doctor will do. Now, you have him. Didn't you get exactly what you wanted? What no one needs? Yes. Well, then the end justifies the means. <sighs> I wish it was as simple for me as it is for you. Jenna, when you love someone, you do anything you have to to protect him. Right? Anything but this. Even this. Well, I thought we'd try to hold the senses I have, not lose another one. What? Exactly. <laughs> that, that was awesome. <laughs> I think my teeth are loose, actually. <laughs> so did you like it? Yeah, I, I did. But? Well, in a way, it makes me realize everything I'm missing by not being able to see. Well, that's kind of the opposite of what I was trying to do for you, man. Well, what exactly do you miss? I mean, besides the obvious. Matching sounds and pictures. Pictures? Uh, yeah, I used to make movies before this happened. Well, I didn't know. Yeah. And I watched them every day. Maddie and I watched a lot together. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was one of my favorite things about our time together. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> yeah, I'm taken. I'm sorry, man. I mean it. No, no, it's okay. It was fun. It made me forget for about five minutes that the one doctor I thought could help me see again thinks my case is too boring to take on. So. Seriously? Seriously. Well, let's get him in here and see how he feels about boring. You'll never go in alone. Hey, Noah, it's me. I got Maddie's note, and I'm at Al's, but you're not here. Um, anyway, I have some amazing news. I, uh, talked to Dr. Oliver again, and he is on the Grimaldi jet on his way to Oakdale. He should be at Memorial within an hour, so if you could have Maddie get you there as soon as possible, that would be awesome. And, and also just call me back, you know, I want to make sure you're okay. Mom, did you hear any of that? No, what's up? Well, I, uh, had another talk with Dr. Oliver. And he's on his way to Oakdale. <laughs> How on earth? After what he said to you earlier? Oh, well, Damien coached me. Coached you how? I thought you were just going to ask him to make some calls to overseas surgeons. Yeah, but when I told him that Noah wanted Dr. Oliver, but Dr. Oliver wasn't interested, Damien said to make him an offer that he couldn't refuse. And he was right. Wait a minute, I, I thought he turned down the offer of more money when you asked him. I didn't offer him any more money. Luke, you threatened him? Don't be upset. I, I just want to understand, what exactly did Damien say to you? He said that if you love somebody, the ends justify the means. Mom, what are you thinking? I'm thinking I need to speak to your father. Mom, Dr. Oliver is coming to see Noah. And that's all that matters. <sighs> Luke Snyder? Dr. Oliver, you made it. I cannot thank you we enough. We both know why I'm here. Let's not pretend that this is a normal consult. Look, I... I'm sorry, I just felt as if that... You felt that you could blackmail me. I'm curious, how much did it cost you to get dirt on me? Dr. Oliver, I did not want to do it this way, but you see... What I no... see is the big, fat, silver spoon in your mouth that I hope you choke on. You have any idea how many people actually wait their turn to see me? Who don't feel that they deserve to move to the front of the line just because they were born with blue blood in their veins? What makes you think that Mr. Mayor is more deserving of my time than anyone else? Well, he's not, but... <laughs> He's the only person that I love who needs you. Well, I'm here, thanks to you and your father's corporate jet. Where's the patient? Uh, well, he should be here any minute. He should be? Yeah, I, I left him a message when I got confirmation that you're on the plane. Okay, there's a commercial flight that's heading back to Dallas in an hour. I'm already booked on it. It was a displeasure meeting you, Mr. Snyder. N Noah, Noah. I told you to call me when you got my message. Dr. Oliver is here, but he's mad. Dr. Oliver? Fifteen minutes. Alone. Those sweets must be really giving you a hard time. Kara. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, I have, uh, I have people who can handle this for me, so it won't ruin our week in the country. Did you get everything you need to, uh, to bring up to Fate School? Do you want me to unload the car for you? I have to ask you a question. Shoot. Did you strong arm Luke into doing something he would never have imagined doing on his own? D did I want? Why on earth are you trying to get us out of town so fast? I'm not. 
Well, it certainly feels like that to me. So let me ask you this then. What or who are you hiding from? I'm confused here, Lily. Um, you told me it, the timing was off for a real honeymoon. You said you didn't want to be far from Faith. I mean, I, so I arranged for a long weekend in a beautiful inn right around the corner from your daughter, and all of a sudden you, you decide I have some sort of a, a, a hidden agenda for wanting to do exactly what you've asked her to do. What am I missing here? I know what you made Luke do. What did he tell you? I know enough to know that you you got him to go against everything he believes in to use your brand of coercion to get what he wants. And it worked, didn't it? I mean, Dr. Oliver's here seeing Noah. Are you really missing my point here, Damien? Not really. Lily, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to juggle your needs and Luke's and, and, and Faith and all of your kids. I'm just trying to give us a much-deserved break and a little time to ourselves. Is that, is that so wrong? I'm... Stop making this about us because it's not. Right now, I'm talking about Luke and you telling him that the end justifies the means. You think that was a mistake? What concerns me is that you don't. I can only imagine what you encouraged him to say or do to get that doctor here. It's not like Luke. But it is like me. Oh, I see, I see. So it's okay for me to employ my skills in whatever way I see fit to keep us comfortable in a style we're accustomed to. That doesn't bother you. I never said. But it, suddenly there are different kind of rules when it comes to our son? I've always had a problem with it, and you know it. It has been a sticking point with us for a long time. Only because you let it, And Lily. it makes me angrier to think that you're passing on this kind of behavior to our son. This is not how I want to raise our family. Oh, we wouldn't even be a family now if I hadn't... If you hadn't what? I'm sorry, Lily. I take what I want. That's how I've always been. And what I've always wanted, it's you. This just doesn't feel right to me, Damien. Only because we're making it more important than it needs to be, Lily. Please, I'm begging you. Let's go away. Make time for each other. Maybe even try to start making another baby of our own. That's all I want. You have to believe me. And it's only part of what I want. And that's the difference between us. What do you want? I want my son to be the man I raised him to be. And not the man you think I'm trying to make him out to be. You said it, I didn't. So, what's the verdict? Is he just another boring blind guy who's not worthy of your talents? I don't like you. Yeah, I got that. But Noah didn't ask for this, and his movies are going to be pretty rough if he can't see. So you can help him? Of course I can. But will you? He says he's pretty good. He's great. I'll take his word for it. Arrogance appeals to me, what can I say? <sighs> I do not know how to thank you. Well, how about this? As soon as I'm finished restoring Noah's eyesight, I never hear from you again. And you throw away the dirt that you have on me. It's a deal. It better be a deal. I'm the one who's going to be cutting open your boyfriend's head. Did that really just happen? I think it actually did. <laughs> hey, he doesn't like you at all. I don't care. What did you do? I told him that I had some info on him that would get him in trouble with the AMA. What kind of info? I don't have anything. I made it up. And he still came? Well, I guess he has some secrets that he doesn't want to get out. <laughs> but that's not important. We took a risk and it worked. Look, this is more than just a risk. This could have been the difference between me getting a shot to see again or not. So, you're not mad at me? I'm a little shocked. But mad? No. I'm not mad. Thank you, Lou. 